All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy, because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like, folding a slice <laughs> of pizza in half, you know? <laughs> and now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, El Diablo. And now producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the fitting takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge of the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Nice high kick. Jab hurt him a little bit. Big elbow there. Checks that leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Ooh. 
just out of range with that uppercut. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Slips that left hand. Big kick lands. And he counters with a left hand. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Knee to the body. Blocked. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming this Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Nice slip to avoid the left. Just out of the range with that right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked. Oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh. Nice straight punch. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's hurt. He's hurt. Big kick lands. Lands flush with that right hand. Big shot lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. Whatever. Oh! Wow! Oh! oh, diving punch lands. Final seconds of round one. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, trying to pass it here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Second round underway. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Straight right hand now, just misses. Good. 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's... Oh! Oh, good man. Good man, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Back to his feet. Great punch. Body kick is blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Everything works off of the jab. Doubles up on it there. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can... Oh! So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Slips the punch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Three minutes now to go in this one. He's out! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here, too. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.